Right, a quick video for you to accompany the pictures today. And the pictures today are of this, okay? It's finished now, and I'm making a video because my intention is to turn it into a, a pocket for myself. Something like this. Now, I'm assuming or presuming or expecting questions about that decision. So, I'm going to do it like that. Okay, front and back. Um, I could have done it like that, which is also lovely, I think, front and back. But I think I'll get more use out of it if it's got a wider opening. Now, I was tempted to have that completely as the front but the reason I've decided against that is because as you will see I'm, I've got hundreds of pockets I don't need one that big so I've got this one this was probably the first one I made that I keep muslin in okay that goes in there folds over so I've got that one I've got this one okay I'm just checking you can see it, yeah. So it opens like that. It's got white cloth in. So that's a big one. I've got this one that's quite big that I keep Liberty fabric in. Okay. I won't show you that yet. Just, I've got this one that I haven't got anything in yet, only because I haven't got round to it. Okay, that one. And that's got another pocket there. And I've got this one that again is quite a big one but this one hasn't got anything in it yet it's not because I haven't got anything to put in it I just I like they're all laid flat these ones those two these ones are on a stool in my lounge so they're handy for when I need the fabric out with those these two are in a glass cabinet I've got because I like them in there I like to look at them in there it kind of to me it gives them a little bit of um, status if you will if they like that in my glass cabinet and then I've got these that I made in the last pocket class which I won't be replicating in the new pocket class but I will be kind of being inspired by them um, that I don't want to use that I would like to frame somehow and I'm thinking about that I've been thinking about that for a long time but there's that one and that one that opens like that okay so as you can see I've got plenty of big pockets so if I was to make that the front of another pocket like that I don't need one that big basically I do think that I will get more use out of it if I do it like this so this afternoon actually I think I'm gonna line it um, and it'll open at the top this will be the top here and I want to make something special to add to it afterwards, like a titty versions. And that will be the back. So you do get the full benefit of the surface, I think, if I do it like that. So the reason for making the video was to explain my decision about that. Um, and hopefully you'll agree with me that I've got enough pockets. They say that you can't have, well, like, oh, and I've got this one which similar things might happen in the new class with the bone in at the top and things I keep my wadding in there, I've got, obviously I've got more wadding than that but I keep this in a cabinet by my chair and then if I need a little bit of wadding for anything then I get it out of there and I've got this little one that I've made for my daughter but I haven't given her it yet so pockets everywhere and I'm not complaining trust me it makes me exceptionally happy to have so many pockets but that's the reason I made the decision regarding that. Okay, so you'll see it when it's finished, but I need to line it, I need to construct it, and I need to make some titty versions for it, and I know what they'll be. I'll be doing those tonight. Okay.